Fiverr challenged me to help one subscriber to launch a book in 90 days, and it's been one heck of a journey over these past five videos. We scoured our subscriber base to find Sarah Walde, a paranormal cozy mystery author and homeschooling mother of two who hasn't quite seen the success she wanted with over a dozen titles on the marketplace. Now, we got a ton accomplished in the first 64 days, including keyword research, book description writing, editing, proofreading, beta reading, and a full series cover overhaul, and even consulting with a few book marketing experts. This is where we're at right now. We've got a few more marketing and promotional aspects to cover before our launch if we want to double her personal best record for a book launch. 32 is what we're shooting for, and I'm confident we can make it happen. Now, what do you think? Previously, I assigned Sarah the impossible task where she had to sift through a host of online resources devoted to free and premium book promotion sites. And I also gifted a copy of the 2020 edition of the Book Reviewer Yellow Pages by David Wogan, so she had additional resources to tap into. The nice part is she can use that list for any future book launches, and I specifically told her to bookmark free book promotions so she keeps things on the cheap until her author brand takes off. Our next big plan is to go live across her YouTube channel and her Facebook page for her book launch. It's a great way to build awareness of her new book and also involve more of her followers in the celebration. So what's the game plan for the book launch party? So I'm going to get up and I'm going to just go about my day. I'm going to put some paperbacks places and take pictures and do stuff like that with my daughter's can my phone, my daughter's phone, since my camera doesn't work and go around doing that during the day and have a couple little short videos like me roasting coffee beans because Penny does that in the first book and stuff like that, doing little things like that throughout the day to create engagement during the day a little bit. And then the party at night will be a pajama party is what I'm planning. Hey, and I'm yeah. really cozy mysteries pajamas yes it seems like it goes exactly hand hand. it <laughs> does i really like that idea and then i have a list of people i was planning to invite or didn't know who to invite and i'm really nervous about being live and then having somebody live on there because of all my technical difficulties so i thought if i could have them pre-record then i could click it on there with Streamyard. And that actually mutes me. So it gives me a second to read the chat and then add links and stuff into the chat for people. And I thought, well, maybe that would be a good way to do it because they still get to promote themselves and be on a video, but I don't have to worry about engaging with them live yet. I'm really hoping to reach out. Like I have a list of cozy authors. Some of them I've actually engaged with on uh, social media and talked to. Some of them have helped me. I've helped some of them. One of them, I helped her name her whole series. So maybe I can get her on. Another one, we discussed covers together. So maybe I can get her on, you know. So I have a list of people I'm going to ask. And then I have a couple of Facebook groups where I've been engaged with the authors that I might ask them. And then we'll see. We'll see. I'll just tell them I have this many slots open and then I'll vet them as the videos come in. If you show me $130, oh. I'm going to weep. I dropped it to uh, $3 a day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because it was... And is it much better now? Yes. Well, it still it still spends it all. It spends it all before it's 9 a.m. That's crazy. That yeah. is nuts. And so I started a second one that's only that I set it for $5 and I set it to book two because that has okay. money on it just to play with it for a second. Yeah. And it's only had two impressions. So I'm like, hmm, you know, you never know. You never know what's going to happen. I think so it has a lot to do with relevancy and the fact that your title has been proven. And, you know, you, you've run promotions on it before and such. So chances are likely that's why it's taking off so well. They're like, oh, you're going to bid that much? All right, we'll take it. Right. So I it? guess the probably the more conservative way. Yeah, I guess probably the more conservative way would, would be just to walk back the CPC if you wanted right. to. Like... The old school way of, I used to say, I say 11 to 13 cents, but I'll let you know that you're going to need to monitor it daily because if you don't see impressions, you're going to need to increase. Mm -hmm. Be conservative. What I would say is if you're finding you're getting frustrated with spending that $3 or $5 per day so fast, burn through your budget, kick back your CPC. Go as cheap as okay. possible. You know, if you want to go like 11 cents, 15 cents, see how it acts. And if it starts to lose out your impressions, kick it up by a couple cents and see how okay. that goes. I'll try that. Cool, cool. 
Well, it's official. We didn't launch the book within 90 days. Now, based on all the work we had to do beyond just the single book launch, we burned through a lot of our time really fast. Now, rather than dwelling on this setback, we've got to refocus our energy on beating Sarah's personal record of book sales on launch day by twofold. And it's not asking for very much, but it is a victory nonetheless. Her personal best has been 16 book sales on launch day. I believe we can do at least 32 book sales. Though it's a modest level, it's realistic based on her previous efforts. Part of me desperately wanted to launch this book in 90 days, but I know Sarah's business will be much better off if we don't rush these things. That's what I impart on you, the viewer. Never rush a book launch simply because of vanity or ego's sake. We've got our official launch date set for Tuesday, June 14th, 2022, and that's less than a month out, giving her enough time to build more hype and bring more guests to her live book launch party. For now, let's make this the best launch she's done to date. True to her word, Sarah buckled down and put on one heck of a book launch party. She managed to get five different guest contributions, including one by yours truly. Yes, I wore a robe to a pajama party. I don't have PJs, so sue me. She did trivia, a few scavenger hunts, gave away prizes, and shared some insights of her writing. Sarah managed to draw a small audience across her platform and was giddy with excitement the entire two hours she streamed. But did we accomplish the goal? The dust has settled and we're waiting for the final count on book sales. In the meantime, let's surprise Sarah one last time. So <laughs> we, we, we ran this marathon. You know, we really like, gosh, it's been three months now. That's so weird. That's Have so you enjoyed weird. yourself? I have had a blast. I will be really honest. I'm exhausted because <laughs> I've been, you know, my graduating my son, yep. doing every other daily life stuff, and then this. And whenever you've given me assignments, I just like dive in. And my house is destroyed by the time I'm done. I'm like big bags under my eyes. I just work until it's finished. So I, I am sad to see it ending, but I'm exhausted. <laughs> You know, it's, I've it's, had a blast. Yeah, it's it's been very commendable. You have worked your tail off. Honestly, you anything that you get, you earned. You know, uh, there's a lot of times you hear people like say you deserved it, and I don't want to do you that disservice. You earn every last bit of what you got now, and what's going to be coming to you later on. So, Sarah, it's been an incredible journey over these past few months, and no one should ever doubt your ability to overcome any obstacle and succeed in the business. You're going places, but we can't simply finish with an epic book launch we have to send you away with some great tools and resources you okay with that i'm i'm stoked with that you can do that nice all right so first things first we work so hard together on this one here the paranormal penny series i'm going to be giving you all these sending this in the mail to you so you have each one of these things if you don't already have them the beautiful covers i hate to part ways with them but I wanted to make sure that you had everything that you need. Now, do me a favor, hang on to these, all right? These are yours. There's gonna come a time someone's gonna say to you, oh, hey, I'd love to check out one of your books. Yeah, go visit Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> so all six books, I'm super happy to get that Thank sent you. off to you. Yay. So next one, you'll be getting one year access to Pro Writing Aid, my preferred grammar checking software. Yes! <laughs> nice yay i love pro i love pro writing aid i love it i've been having to pay monthly and i'm so i pay monthly and then i have to shut it down when i'm done with that book and then go back again when i'm ready to do it again i'm so excited so awesome i am glad that you're excited about it but i don't know you think you'll be excited if you get one year access to book brush gold plan yeah <laughs> That's where you'll be able to get the graphic design tool that's specifically designed for authors marketing needs. So people like you, so you can be able to do social media graphics, you can do the cover creator, you got the book trailer creator, and even more, you have everything you need to market your brand like a true pro and you deserve it, obviously. Oh my goodness, thank you. That's gonna be so fun. <laughs> now, I know you're already a fan of Publisher Rocket. You've been using Publisher yes. Rocket, right? 
<laughs> so I know for a fact then you're going to love the new writing and formatting software called Atticus, which is put out by the folks that put out Publisher Rocket. You're going to be able to <laughs> format your interiors like a true pro. And here's the really cool thing. Atticus integrates directly with BookBrush. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't know that. <laughs> So, oh, so all my little graphics can go over there. My covers can like anything. Oh, that's awesome. Also, Author Brand Kits is setting you up with a custom website with a domain name, email, web hosting setup, and other vital book marketing assets. <laughs> so, all right. Fiverr's been watching you hustle your face off and they want to <laughs> set you up for future victory using their services. Obviously, investing in pro services isn't just a one-time thing. I mean, you saw, we had to go back, get some new covers and things like that. Yes. But you could always yes. find something to elevate your business through Fiverr either way. So that's why they're going to be hooking you up with $100 credit for you to use on book cover designs, editing, formatting, marketing, and more. I'm, I'm snorting. I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh my goodness, wait till I get off and talk to my husband. He's gonna be crazy excited. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and uh, speaking of awesome, no book rescue journey would be complete without a little extra something to get you through the coming months. That's why we are hooking you up with $1,000 on whatever your heart desires, <laughs> whether it's your business or your personal life. 